I know you'll probably downplay this, but what was it? What is it like to hit that 1K mark, 1,000 yard mark? Yeah, I mean, it, it means something to me. You know, I'm, I mean, hard work finally paying off, and can you know, I got to credit my linemen for opening up holes and doing everything right, blocking wise, and just everyone. Everybody plays a part in that. The receivers, the quarterback in the line, and the tight end. So I mean, it's it's not just me. It's a reflection of the, of the team and our ability to run the ball. You were nominated for the Sportsmanship Award. Um, what what's it about you that allows you to kind of keep your emotions so contained? Like we never see, we never see you upset, we never see you celebrate. Uh, just how are you able to stay on that even? I mean, it's, it's just that's just my mindset. That's just my mental state. That's just who I am. I don't know. I just care about my teammates. I want to do whatever I can to put put them in better positions to help them out any way I can and just win games at the end of the day. So nothing else really matters to me, but my team and winning. You have a sense that uh, you and uh, Kareem are just getting started in terms of figuring out uh, how it's going to feel with the offense and there's a lot more left uh, as you two develop as a tandem? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we're just getting started, like you said. and I mean, um, the sky's the limit what we can do with us in the backfield and on the field at the same time. And I just look forward to each week going out there and playing with another great player. Have you noticed the defenses uh, are uh, kind of acting differently uh, now that the, that dual threat is out there and you guys are on the field with a lot? Of, uh, well, that? we've only played two games with it, so I'm not exactly sure. I know Pittsburgh definitely schemed for it and did some did some good things against it, but um, as far as we know, I mean, we won't know until we you know keep playing. Can you tell whether the uh, combination of you and Hunt has helped? The passing game. Do you see safeties in different spots? Uh, I'm thinking of Mika. It's, it's Just seem not to do much in that game. I wonder if it's because of you guys together. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure exactly what it was, but I mean. When you have Kareem who can run routes so well to catch the ball well out the backfield, it's, it's, mis, it's mismatched with him on linebackers and uh, things like that. So I think that's probably the biggest thing. It's um, a great receiver come out the backfield, like, as in Kareem, and, you know, going against guys who can't cover him. And Nick, with a couple of miles and layers suspended, what's your sense for these teams that are going to kind of refocus and overcome that adversity? It's, it's next man up. You know, we have a lot of great guys on this team still. And on our defensive line, who have been waiting for a chance to get more playing time, and I'm sure they'll take full advantage of it. I'm excited to watch them play. I mean, um, I know I know some guys definitely are excited about it, and we're excited to watch. With, with everything that's happened, and you guys having to get over it together, can it bring you guys closer as a team? Is there anything to that? Yeah, I mean, definitely. Adversity just brings us close, and I mean, we know we it hasn't been easy for us at all. But I mean, this team is stuck together, and I, mean, I, I don't see that changing. Does it mean anything to you that uh, with another win, you guys will be a lot more relevant in playoff conversations than you were three weeks ago? I mean, is that some sort of motivation? So you're actually uh, legitimately at least on the fringe of the playoff. Yeah, I mean, uh, take it one game at a time. You know, just not not really worry about um, that talk. We're just gonna keep doing what we're doing and get wins and stack these wins. And at the end of week week 16, 17, we'll see where we're at. And we're gonna try to win them all if we can. In regards to this sportsmanship award, what does sportsmanship mean to you? Is that relevant? What does it mean to you to be honored with the yeah. sportsmanship award? It means a lot to me. I mean, because um, it's it's who I am. It's what I represent. I love my teammates, and I like being a great teammate and uh, just being for my team. I'm all about team, team guy. It seems part of that is being respect, respectful of your opponent also. Do you believe that? Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess I didn't look at it like that. But, yeah, I would say I already don't talk trash, so maybe, that, maybe that's, that's a good point. It's special. I mean, it means a lot to me, and I'm just honored to be, you know, um, to play here for the Browns, which where Jim Brown played, and to follow his footsteps. Uh, it's amazing, and I look forward to keep it keeping it going. Have you developed a, a kind of nice relationship with him over the years, or got to know him? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, he comes around a lot, uh, and so I speak to him. You know, some I respect whenever he's around. What, what message like this year has he said anything to you? 
No, he hasn't. Not yet. How good is Pittsburgh's defense? I mean, the talk over there is that this is one of their better defenses in the program. It's had a lot of good ones. What, are they, are they, what kind of challenges they present to you guys? Yeah. How would you do against them? I thought they were really good, honestly. They did a lot of things that we haven't yet haven't seen. And there's a lot of um, just different things for that um, for us. But uh, overall, I mean, they, they did well. They uh, tackled well, came out blocks well. The safeties made, you know, some big plays on, on me one-on-one. So they did, they did a great job. Um, a couple more. We've been talking about your sportsmanship and, and your humility. Who had that influence on you when you were growing up? Being uh, I'm, I'm not sure exactly. I can't pinpoint exactly one person, but I mean, just growing up, my mom, just, I don't know, uh, maybe coaches when I was young. But I don't know. It's just who I am. You've expressed confidence in Baker throughout the season. I we ask you about him. Um, are you kind of seeing the, the Baker that you thought you would see in these last few games? Yeah, I mean, Baker's always been great to me. I was, you know, I was never down on him. He's always been great. But, I mean, yeah, things are picking up for us uh, in the right direction. I look forward to Baker continuing to get better, with, which he does. And I see it at practice. Uh, he's always, you know, just been a great player and he's going over to games now, so I'm excited about it. What's it say about him to, to be able to kind of overcome maybe some of the things that were going on earlier and get on a little bit of a roll here? Yeah, I mean, he's a fighter. He's a competitor. And I've seen it um, all the time with them. When things aren't going good, I mean, he's, he's going to be the one to step up and make the play and to um, change things around. And I'm full confidence in Baker and what he's doing. And, uh, I mean, I don't know. He's, he's, a, he's a very special player.